Good day, welcome back. I thought I'd do a little quick video on the installation of the um, tool cabinets and the bench top. There were a couple of questions on the Facebook uh, thread and I wanted to answer those but put it out into, into my YouTube channel as well. So to repeat what I have here are two Yukon uh, cabinets from Harbor Freight. You see from this picture they have a wooden top. The top is one and a half inch butcher block and it's birch. Um, and I wanted, I didn't need the 25 inches. So see, it, was, it, was, it was 90, 98 by 25. I didn't need all that. So I cut off uh, down to eight, uh, I cut it down to um, eight foot, which is what I wanted here. And I only wanted 22 inches depth here. The tool, I mean, the, the hardware cabinet over there is going to be also 22 inches. So I wanted it all to match. Also, it opens up a little more space. The other thing is, because the cabinets are 18 inches, and this is 22, I had to block it off the wall in order to get this, where, it, where it's, you know, everything's accessible when you open the drawer. But now I've also got a two inch lip on the uh, overhang on the top so we can clamp things to the edge of the be bench if we want. So let's do some close up. Oh, and I fastened the top to the wooden tops of the cap cabinets and then fasten the top to the wall. So this is absolutely rock solid. It's never going to move. So let's get some, let's just, let me show you some details. The top is fastened to the wooden top of the Harbor Freight cabinets with four two inch screws. It holds as four on this side and four on this side. So basically it's eight screws total. Using a, flash, using a flashlight so you can see it, but there's the two inch blocking behind the uh, cabinet for um, to keep the cabinet away from the wall and give me the spacing I wanted here and back in the front. It's, the top is fastened to the wall through this angle bracket right here. And uh, yes, there's a gap here because floors are uneven. If I come along like that, you can see it's, it's fine over here. So I am going to shim that so that that has a bit more uh, strength to it. It doesn't really matter. I mean, this thing is two and an inch and a half thick. It's not going to move, but I'm going to shim it anyway just for giggles. So back here, uh, excuse me, the full, the far left-hand side, um, the uh, top is fastened again with an angle bracket against the wall into the plywood, which is fastened to the studs. So this top, this bot, and these cabinets are not going to move. So um, one of the questions asked was, well, why do you fasten it to each other and fasten the system to the wall when if you left it mobile, it'd be great, it would have greater flexibility? And I agree with that. That's true. But because this is screwed together and screwed to the wall, this whole system can be taken apart and made mobile in less than five minutes. So that, that takes care of that. If I want to change things, I can very quickly. Uh, the other question is, and I'll bring it up again, 15 amp, built when the house was built, 20 amp that I had run later, surface mount around the shop. So that's why that plug and this plug are next to each other. They just happen to wind up that way. Uh, executive decision. I'm going to build a chop saw stand separately from the hardware stand, hardware cabinet. It's going to sit here, of course. And it's going to be built on with four adjustable feet so I can get it perfectly level with this plane here because this is my now this is now my datum everything has to be level to this and the hardware cabinet will be the same it'll be on four adjustable well actually probably six adjustable feet because it's longer six or four adjustable feet that allow me to adjust it in all axes so I get the chop saw level with this bench and then this bench level with the chop saw so I've got it a straight level plane all the way along here so that's about it. Oh yeah, there's a gap here because walls are, un, are not straight. Little gap here. I'm probably going to run just a, a small piece of shoe molding back here just to cover that up. Um, so that's about it. So now I've got to start building that thing for the chop saw. And that's going to be the next video is building that thing for the chop saw. So make great things out of wood.